Alright, so I haven't opened this yet. Let's see what we get. Maybe we get a present. Alright, what did we get? Uh, I didn't get a present. Oh, come on, Epic. I thought they were going to be like, hey, we're so sorry that we've made our servers absolutely horrible. Here's a present. Hey guys, welcome. If you guys just joined us, uh, I'm going to be going over the patch notes. And there's a new quest line. Excellent. Pirates have invaded home base. Grab an eye patch and prepare for a swash swashbuckling, plundering, plank walking adventure. Hey, Aspects, good morning. Beta Storm Resupply. Time is short. Collect all the all of the items and refill your backpack before the storm closes in. <laughs> Alright, so we have a new event quest line. Looks like rewards are going to be all right, let's look at that. Let's look at that. Oh, wow. Awesome. Um Open up the llama. Did you guys get uh just open eight llamas, got most of the stuff. I also got the new wall trap called Broadside. Wait, there's a wall trap? There's a new wall trap? So pirate llamas are now available. There are 500 spring tickets. Ooh, so I should have like eight or 10, I think. It's a new quest line. Walk the plank. Bottled memories. Memoranda. There we go. Walk the plank. New. It looks like a mythical constructor. Alright, that'll be interesting. That's exciting. Let's see. Uh, HUD scale set, so UI improvements. You're still updating, Sage? <laughs> I'm sorry. Mine was updated, it just, uh, it actually took me about an hour and a half, just a little less than an hour and a half before, by the, when the downtime started and when I could actually log in. Like, I, I'm, I hit broadcast, I started the stream the moment that I was able to log in. What's up, Get Wrecked? You a pro? Alright, HUD scale set setting now up now also applies to HUD announcements. Oh, that's nice. So that big, huge monstrosity of the message doesn't end up in my view. Still nothing in the spring event, but oh well. Go buy the Hydra skin in the store. Uh, you might be talking about BR. I don't really care about Battle Royale. Unless they made it where you can buy a skin and save the world. I don't know why you would want one. I just want an emote. I just want more emotes. That's all. Oh, fixed an issue where Xbox sucks and generally is not good in any way. 
No, I'm just joking. That, that's not a bug fix. <laughs> fix an issue. Buy the Hydra skin in the store. So, so it's a hero. You mean buy the hero in the store? Let's look and see what's in. Don't tell me what's inside. I want it to be a hey, get wrecked. Uh, super people llama. Ooh, that might be fun. Oh, look at all those, all those pirate llamas. Uh, let's see. Oh, I could use another ceiling zapper. Yeah, dude. There's no heroes. Um, I don't have any heroes. There's no heroes. Legendary or epic. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm still too early. Um, fix defender trap UI issues related to selecting a defender from a from a different pad. I don't know about that one. In 13 hours it comes out. Ooh. Hey, did you guys see the new uh, one month subscriber uh, icon? It now says WK. Check that out, Sage. Look at that. That's sweet. I just did that last night. I was curious how it would show up. Alright, I'm looking at this. Yeah, aspects. I'm reading through all of them right now. Fix an issue that would cause items and people to become offset from the camera while being leveled up or evolved. Ooh, that maybe that will fix the thing where like you go to upgrade. That sounds like that's what it is. Like you go to evolve like this weapon, let's say, and then you it just hangs. That would be cool. No more double jumping constructors, that's right. Yo, yo, it shot. <laughs> um, Fix an issue where players were unable to back out of the modify perks menu. Okay, I've had that happen a lot as well. Fixed pickup messages to not stack on top of each other.
updated the expedition screen. Updated the expedition screen to properly update the expedition list when first entering the screen. Okay. Maybe it didn't upgrade this correctly or something. Alright. It was ki kind of a... Uh, clunky, maybe? Maybe they fixed that. Um, placeholder text should no longer be visible while inspecting x-ray llamas. Oh, fixed hero abilities appearing grayed out on the quick bar if another ability is used right as it is coming off cooldown. Oh, that's going to be a nice. I use that happens to me all the time. I'm in game and they just look gray, you know. Uh now I think that will fix that. So Performance. Ooh, this is what I like to hear. Improved responsiveness of equipping items to quick bar slots. Hey BDT, what's up? Fixed a hitch when another player loads into a match that already that's already in progress. Ooh, maybe that will fix the uh, the massive lag spikes. Fixed an itch when entering the shadow stance effect. We've added new hero to the event store. Hybrid and new legendary ninja. I don't see it yet, but my thought is it's probably going to be here this afternoon, maybe. Yeah, get wrecked. We can help, man. We can help. Um, let's see. So the standard perk, Fire of the Dragon, increases affliction duration by 34% as the standard perk and commander perk increases affliction duration by 67%. Dragon Slash applies affliction, which deals 15 base damage per per second for three seconds. Available in the event store March 27th, 8 p.m. Eastern. All right, so yeah, tonight. Excellent. That'll be cool. So mine will be tonight. Um, looks like the hybrid Legendary Ninja will be out tonight for me. New hero with the Yara quest line. That is what we're going to be grinding today. We're going to be doing that. A new mythic pirate constructor. Five Pacific for you. Eight PM Eastern looks like. By Q. By what Q? The letter Q. You know, are you trying to buy a vowel? Wait, 
What? Okay, y'all y'all see this Blackbeard Bl Blakebeard the Blackbeard Standard perk a vast matey increases cannonball damage by 20% are they gonna have like a cannonball wait what commander perk a vast mateys plus increases cannonball damage by 40% converts Rosie to fire 25 cannonballs what that's gonna be interesting <laughs> What the heck? That's crazy. Four new pirate heroes that can be obtained in the Pirate Llama. Nice. Crossbones Barrett. A new Outlander called Going... And this, the perk is Going Coconuts. 20% chance to find coconuts in containers. Coconuts restore health instantly and restore additional health over time, increasing damage by 16% while under the effect of coconuts. What? That's as the standard perk. Commander perk, 30% chance of finding coconuts. That's just nuts. Cocoa nuts. Increases damage by 36% while under the effects of coconuts. Weapons like the Bowler and the ja Jabberwocky. 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 That reminds me <laughs> of when uh, Alice in Chains is in Wayne's World and he's like, Alice in Chains is like, uh, Milwaukee. Milwaukee was originally announced Milwaukee. Wayne's World, Wayne's World, party time, excellent. Buccaneer Jonesy, a new pirate soldier. Dealing sword damage increases pistol damage. Alright, that's kind of cool. Dealing sword damage increases pistol damage? So you whack him with the sword and then you pull out your pistol? Interesting. Alright. Swashbucket Keel Hall. Dealing pistol damage increases sword damage. Alright. So you shoot him with a pistol and then you slice him up. Interesting. Swab the deck. Pirate Hype. New constructor. Increases club damage by 50% when, when slotted as the commander. That's interesting. Acquiring Blackbeard will unlock a new quest which rewards a new team perk. Eliminating enemies has a 5% chance of undercovering of uncovering one of the one of Blackbeard's stashes which contains the following Items. Peg leg. Club that deals extreme damage but breaks quickly. Coconuts. Restores health instantly and restores additional health over time. Cannonballs can be thrown as grenades 
that fragment on impact exploding multiple times. Requirement requires three pirate heroes in your loadout. All right. That's interesting. Constructor Rosie can now be auto-placed just like traps. Oh, that's okay. That's kind of nice. Instead of having to put a piece of wood down and then dump Rosie down. Bug fixes. This is what I like. Free items that have been unslotted from the collection book will no longer be eligible. And the missions just reset. That's nice. Oh, yes. Fixed an issue that prevented impossibility matrix from correctly reducing the cooldown of Shock Tower. Oh, man. I'm going to be messing with that, that's for sure. That's going to be nice. Fixed an issue where base solo extended war cry by one to two seconds per elimination in instead of the intended duration of 0.4 or 0.9 seconds per line. Still World Carlos is marked eligible for item reset. Steampunk weapon set available in Pirate Llamas. Steam the Baron, Steam Flasher, Steam the uh, Steam Thrasher, Steam Piston, Steam Roller, Bon Voyage. That one might be my favorite. A f fast and powerful semi auto sniper rifle. That'd be interesting. New flintlock weapons. Ooh, new flintlock rock. The uh, new flintlock weapons. Can we get the. Cyber. So. Um. Where is the flintlock? Event schematics, flintlock weapons. Items not available to research. Okay. So we can't research it, but maybe we can. Maybe I'm gonna get the old Betsy with the perk that I want on it. That'll be interesting. We will see about that. Oh, here's what you were talking about, Sage. The Balor and Jabberwocky are now classified as cannons and gain benefits from fer perks affecting cannonball damage, such as Avast Metis. Okay. Purchasing random schematics from the event store will now put the schematic directly into the inventory instead of granting a llama to open. That's what takes one step out of it. That's kind of cool. That's an easy fix. Bug fixes fixed an issue with the teleporter floating after destroying the floor beneath it. <laughs> that would have been funny. Fix an issue with where the yeoman sniper rifle could spawn extra projectile impact particles. Changed Joel and Carolina mythic survivors so that only one copy of each is allowed in the inventory at a time. I don't know what that means. How, I didn't know you could have more than one. Huh, that's interesting. Removed a gameplay. Removed the escape part that could load into Autumn Cities that was causing building issues. 
Several quest requirements in Plankerton and Canny have been adjusted. Enhanced demolition updates. Oh, okay, this is exciting for me. Uh, okay. Enhanced demolition has been re-enabled. Excellent. Trap resources go back to the trap owner if present when using enhanced demolition in the player's storm shield. Increasing the number of resources gained when destroying tier 2 and through tier building pieces. Oh, that's nice. So you're probably going to... It sounds like you're going to get all your metal back instead of just part of it. Players will now receive 100% of the resource amounts. This is prorated by the health of the building piece. Okay, excellent. Shows HUD messages when crafting materials are returned to a player due to disassembling a trap in an SSD mission. So maybe it's going to tell you what it's giving back. Bug fixes. Alright, more bug fixes. Excellent. Fixed an issue that caused players to load into the game with one he as one hero while having the abilities of another hero. <laughs> so we can no longer have double jumping constructors. Hey, Sedative, what's up, man? Yeah, exactly, Sage. Who's reason Rosie? But at least we can shoot cannonballs with it now. Already trying the sniper? Nice. So, okay, so set aspects you can get. There's two new flintlock weapons, okay. <laughs> this one's kind of this one's gotten me a couple times. Fix deliver the bomb in Thunder Route 99 zone where the armory and launcher would be reversed. Yeah, I've had that a couple times. Like A and B are totally on the opposite sides of where they should be, and like B is nowhere near the actual uh, uh, whatever the thing is that you shoot into, right? <laughs> Campfire traps no longer heal players who are DBNO. What is DBNO? I don't know that acronym. Down by no down but not out. Down but not out. I don't know what that means exactly. If anybody knows what that means, uh Fixed an issue where players were no were unable to place traps on floor pieces that are built over other fl other level floor pieces such as sidewalks. Knocked basically down but not out. Okay, look at there, we teamwork right there figuring that out. Fix an issue that caused players to load into a zone with a level 1 pickaxe. Fix an issue that caused weapons, gadgets, or abilities to not appear in the quick bar. That's happened plenty of times. Survivors no longer benefit from blue glow pylon buffs. Wow, I never knew that they did, but that's interesting. So I guess you could do like the health thing and they benefited from that. Uh, enemies. Fixed an issue that allows Hus to continue moving while frozen in a slow field. So that's like the iceberg. Oh, that one was kind of fun. I guess the giant smasher gets becomes an iceberg and then he uh, <laughs> then he still like floats across the map. That one's kind of fun, though. Audio bug fixes. 
Added audio for new perks, ambient sounds, okay. Fix an issue that causes music to be missing in certain areas. Yeah, there's a lot of sound things that sometimes don't work, but I'm not too concerned about that. I'd be more concerned with uh, performance issues and sound issues. I could deal with the sound issues, but that's probably some basic good stuff that they were able to get out of the way. Fixed an issue with down but not out. Music continuing after a player has been revived. That uh, sounds like the heartbeat. That's been there a while. That was like, I remember that in Frost Night. You'd get, like, your health would get crazy low, and then you'd have a heartbeat, and you, d you couldn't stop that heartbeat sound. Alright, some more updates. You, uh,. Ooh, <laughs> uh, I gotta try this out. Okay, please tell me. Look at that! Oh my gosh, um, I I don't care about anything else. Look, if you hold it down, it gets faster and faster and faster as it moves. So now, <laughs> excellent! Oh, that's wonderful. It doesn't take like 14 hours to just move some simple stuff over. See it getting faster and faster and faster? Oh, okay, that's that's worth every little bit of this update. That's awesome. Fix an issue with the bottom bar being missing obscured on the player reporting screen. Joinable parties. Wow, that's kind of cool. So you can see your friends that are in a party and how many are in it and if you can join them. That's kind of cool. The game voice channel has been added and allows speaking to and hearing only the people in your Battle Royale squad, your Save the World team, your Creator Island voice chat. New items have been added to the social panel to select yourself. Privacy, party, privacy, private, public, friends only. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I'm on status. Some basic functionality there, that's nice. So now you have party chat and in game chat in here that's kind of cool choose party to speak to every with everyone in your party and game to speak to game specific channel that's pretty cool sounds good aspects thanks man yeah, leave, it, leave me up all day. I'm going to be on all day, I think. Grinding this new uh, pirate quest line. Gameplay bug fixes. Ooh, <laughs> sedative. You'll, you'll remember this one. Uh, fixed a bug where traps can be hidden under the terrain. <laughs> uh, I, hope, I hope that applies to storm shields. <laughs> Fixed, fixed for switching to save the world when joining a friend in Battle Royale's party.
performance. We've increased the bandwidth cap for all game modes. This should help with network performance issues across all platforms. We will put that to the test by putting down three bases in C. That's right, Sage. All day save the world. Alright guys, so that is all of the patch notes. I've gone through and read all those. I think I'm mostly excited. Honestly, it's such a simple thing, but I'm super excited about the slider. I don't know how many like hours I've wasted of my life waiting for this slider to move. So I'm super excited about that. I'm really, really, really excited about this performance thing. I hope that fixes a lot of the performance issues that we've seen when we pace a base down. Uh, Sage, I'm up for testing that at some point today for sure. Um, 